Hello everyone. I hope that you all are doing great. The aim of my videos is education and information so that you could be able to deal with the situation yourself. In this video, I'll be discussing about a very common medical emergency. Medical emergencies can occur anytime and it is very common in dental practice. Even during a procedure, a patient can have a medical emergency. The most common medical emergency in a dental practice is vasovagal syncope or in other words, a patient can faint. Vasovagal syncope is the short-term loss of consciousness that is due to the decreased blood supply to the brain and its major cause is anxiety. Dental patients have most of their procedures consciously with or without local anesthesia and there is a general phobia about dental treatments. This is why most of the patients, they are anxious. Stressful situations like class exams may also trigger anxiety, which can result in vasovagal syncope. This condition can occur to anyone, to those who are healthy or to those who have any condition like hypoglycemia and even to those who come for the dental procedure without eating anything for a long time. Common presentation can be dizziness, a sweating, a feeling of being lightheaded, slow pulse rate, a nausea, vomiting or loss of consciousness. So what are the reliable ways to manage this emergency? Number one, put the patient in a supine position that is with the face upward. Elevate the legs of the patient to increase the blood flow towards the brain. Legs can be elevated by folding them in this way which is shown on the screen and you can even change the position of a dental chair or bed. Number two, clear the area, maintain patient's airway and make sure that the patient is breathing fresh air. This step is to make sure of enough oxygen supply to the brain and the body of the patient. Number three, let the patient be in this position until he gains the consciousness again and then slowly raise the patient. Number four, provide glucose to the patient in form of a drink. It can be a juice or simply some sugar dissolved in some water if the patient does not have any special concerns. Number five, you must seek for a medical emergency help especially if the patient has prolonged vasovagal syncope. Now, a few points to remember over here are, make sure to follow pre-treatment protocol, which is blood sugar and blood pressure checkup, patient's medical history, asking the patient if they have eaten anything, and many more steps like that. I have added some research paper links for vasovagal syncope. This is to help you increase your knowledge and concept in detail. I hope that you like this video in a good way. Thank you for watching. Keep smiling. Bye.